Yes, sir. Are you with that shot, or would you want to board the book in it, or? Um, I, I'm actually oddly okay with that. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> now, when you go to the wide shot, it shows up better. Yeah. I wonder what happens if we set it in the middle. Let's try this. <laughs> Front and center. There we go. Love it. Show me the, the uh, two shot again. Two shot. Let's see. Okay, show me the single shot. Yeah, I love it. Okay, we're good. Mic check, one, two, three, four, five. We've all woken up before and we just haven't felt our best. Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, a young lady who's gonna teach us how to all be intentionally fabulous. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and Kelly, did I get a mic check from you? Test, test, one, two, three, check, one, two, three. She got some glitter or something, we said intentionally fabulous. <laughs> yes, we need some glitter. Maybe we are fabulous. <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay with that. You can't get enough plugs, right? <laughs> <laughs> Show. I found an old Jeff Curley show with the last name Calabrese when it wasn't you. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could have got a family discount. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been nice. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's see. Alright, Jeff, are you ready? Yes, sir. We've all had those days before where you wake up and you're just not feeling yourself, you're not feeling your best. Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, a young lady who's going to teach us all how to be intentionally fabulous. That's next. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. For my friend Dallas News, I'm Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took a jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company, and we now have over 100 clients, and we branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle.
Well, I have to be honest, I'm, I'm afraid that the smoke detectors are going to go off in this studio because we've got so much energy <laughs> coming off of my next guest, Kelly Calabri. She's an author, speaker, now best-selling author. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Jeff. It is absolutely my honor to be here. Well, one of the reasons we brought you in, not, not just that we've known each other for several years, I did not realize that this had rocketed to number one across many categories. Tell us about your new book. It did. So Success Habits of Super Achievers literally just came out on Tuesday and went number oh one goodness. on Amazon in 21 categories and in five countries. So just so honored to be a part of this book. And I am just a part. It's a compilation book that has a lot of names that I know you would recognize. Um, Les Brown, Mark Victor Hansen, Darren Hardy, John Asaroff, Brian Tracy, I mean the list goes on, but incredible, really heartfelt stories of some super achievers. Yes, in the book you write about pursuing what makes your soul go on fire. I didn't yes. say that right, but, <laughs> but what sets your soul on fire? Talk about that chapter. That is a great question. So it's, it's my most recent story and I talk about where my identity was really in being a wife, being a mom, you know, where I live, where I was in my industry. And a lot of that just got stripped away in a moment when my husband came home and said his commitment to our marriage was zero. And it, it took me to my knees and it emptied my out. So it's been a journey back to really who am I? loving myself, fully forgiving, getting to a place where I wake up and have purpose again and, and want to be healthy, spirit, mind, and body, be fully abundant, have this amazing bonus life, and you know, be in a pl place of celebration and joy. So it's my story building back to that, but also now helping others. So I have to believe that one of the secrets of the super achievers is to be able to shake stuff off. I mean, we all have setbacks. It could be loss of a job, loss of a marriage, loss of a loved one, um, but you have to allow yourself to grieve and then at some point uh, move out of that space. Talk about that. Yes, so there's definitely a grief cycle, which I knew nothing about prior to this. And I, mm -hmm. you know, everyone has been through some stuff, but this was my turning point. And so I didn't understand the phases, the cycle. So, you know, there's shock and there's anger and there's sadness and Depression actually is on the upswing, <laughs> hard to believe, but when you're right. depressed, that's right. a good sign you're starting to get better. And then eventually you get to a place of acceptance and eventually back to healthy. And mm -hmm. now I want to take people even beyond healthy, yes. like better than you could even ask, think, or imagine today. And one thing I know to be true about you is you're such a wonderful coach and you have a kind heart that when you help somebody else, it helps heal you, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah, I'm a knowledge person, so I was determined to get well, and I couldn't really find any one thing out there that would help me. So I, you know, I went to the seminars, I went on retreats, I did the meditations, yes. I hired the coaches, all of that, and I took the highest level stuff that I learned and I put it into a program to help other people because I just wanted to be really well. Let's talk about that program because you're about to launch that. Is I that right? am. Yeah, it's exciting. So I actually have a couple of free webinars that are coming up. If they go to intentionallyfabulous.com, they're free webinars where I share the eight strategies that I use to get well. And um, then I have a program that's launching that will be a coaching program that people can get into with amazing bonuses. In fact, I interviewed the 20 people who helped me over the last two wow. years with healing. So they get to be a fly on the wall with you know my coaches and counselors and mentors and, and wise friends. That's wonderful, such great value. Uh, let's talk about some of your other books because I know that you're, you're, you've written several books. I wrote one, it just about killed me. People are always <laughs> asking me when the next book is coming out. It's a lot of work putting together a book. So let's start with Passionistas. Uh, tell us about this book. That book, so that is written by women mm -hmm. for really, initially the intention was for millennial women to you know give them some wisdom because the millennials have so many amazing things going for them. But it turns out that older women like this book, men love this book. So these are tips, tales, and tweetables from successful women who are influencers and, and what they would tell their younger selves. Okay, the next book, Mom and Dadpreneurs. Tell me about this. Yeah, so when my kids were born, I knew that I didn't want to be the mom that was out of the house. So came home, still wanted to contribute to my industry on a really high level and have the executive pay. Let's face it, you know, yes, you want to be course. paid well. So I compiled a list of super achievers who I knew who they told their stories about how they figured out how to you know, stay at home, 
have a great family life, create the lifestyle, and still create great income. Uh, you might need to dust that book off again because it seems with the pandemic, there's a lot of mom and dads that are reinventing themselves. Absolutely, yeah, that book was three years ago, so we were ahead of our time, and yes. now this is sort of the new normal, the new lifestyle. Yes, you're also something about media celebrity. I know when the media has different questions about healthy living, they turn to you. We've got some video of you on TV. I think this is New York, I'm trying to remember. Uh, do you remember where that was? And so the studio was in New York and it was broadcast all around the country. So yes, I was in New York and they were on satellite, uh, NBC, Fox, ABC, CBS, all over the country. Wow. So that's... I did about 27 shows that morning. Fiji Water was one of the 27 clients. shows. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. But you're very comfortable on, on camera. How did that begin? Have you always been kind of a natural communicator? Um, you know what, I had a really tough executive producer she was hard on me and it was good for me so she really would just make sure that I hit the points and that I had the right speed and inflections and and we would rehearse a lot and then you need to be you know getting practice and getting better just do it a lot and you get better that's awesome okay so we also have some uh, a video tip uh, you are prolific on social media this is I think this is last night do you remember this Yes, so I've been actually doing lives every day, giving an intentionally okay. fabulous tip of the day. So the one I did yesterday was yep. about the importance of community and friendships, especially now that a lot of people are isolated. Yes. So the importance of how do you become the friend that you want to be? Because mm. there's a lot of people out there who don't have you know the friendships and relationships and support that they want. And you're raw and honest in these videos. I think one of the things that's most endearing about you, Kelly, is that you're vulnerable. Uh, I remember looking at one of your tips about your divorce, and you know there are things that you share with the audience that I think a lot of coaches wouldn't. So thank you for that. Oh uh, yeah, I mean that, that's how we get better. Being honest, if I sat here and pretended I was perfect, that, that wouldn't be true, and people couldn't connect and relate to me. And it, it's about you know each person. It's not about putting someone else down to lift someone else up, but it's about being your best. Yes. Well, I know we have probably a lot of people watching right now who are living in fear right now, and, and understandably so. I mean, we've got a pandemic, the economy uh, is struggling, uh, we've got election strife. Uh, what do you say to the people who are watching who are just uh, fearful right now? Yeah, fear is the opposite of love. You know, so don't, don't stay in fear. You have hope, start with some belief, start with, you know, you need to be your own encourager someday. And, um, you know, I believe in, in a higher power that the creator of the universe has really good plans for us. So I just wake up encouraged every day. And I would say to people, you know, filter out what you're allowing in. So listen to shows like this that have good encouraging news. Thanks. And don't, you know, don't let the, the dark stuff in because people can allow themselves to get depressed by letting negativity in. Well, I, I love the name uh, Intentionally Fabulous. How did that come about? <laughs> um, I had a friend of mine who did a branding exercise with me back in January when I thought I was you know, about healed and ready to launch and, and he helped me come up with the name based on a number of words that we had put down on during an exercise and he looked at me and he said, Kelly, this is your brand but you're not there yet. Mm. And I mean, tears just started flowing. I was like, you know what, you're right, I know I'm not. And so it took about another seven, eight months for me to peel back the layers yeah. and, and eventually I became it. So yes. he kind of spoke it before it happened, which was cool. I love it. Well, the other thing that I think you did by you know claiming that is you kind of have to live it now. Because yes. you're the intentionally <laughs> fabulous do. person. I'm so. stepping out of that. I have to do I'm fully committed to living an amazing bonus well, life. If you ever wake up and you're not having a fabulous day, you need to just have it look in the mirror and say you're the intentionally fabulous that's right. person you have to have a great day <laughs> that's right it doesn't mean it's gonna be perfect it's not about perfectionism I mean you have to own your feelings sometimes but how much time do you want to waste being depressed how much time do you want to sit in sadness I'm really mm -hmm. done with that I'm you know done with all the, t the those tears but um, you can turn around pretty quick when you decide to so yeah. you don't sit in it you don't go as deep as long or as dark you can just kind of have your moment and then move on yes. We talked about fear, let's talk about stress, because I know a lot of Americans are feeling that right now, and stress, as we all know, releases chemicals in your body that are destructive. I mean, they, they actually kind of wear down your, your immune system. So uh, how do you manage stress? You know, it's something simple that every person can do is breathe. Just start by breathing, and it will reverse those stress hormones. So something as simple as just getting quiet, 
taking a few moments, taking some deep breaths in, holding that breath, exhaling. It brings you into the present, so it does get you intentional. And it just gives you, again, some more hope that just be present. Look at today. Don't look at the future. Don't think about the past. But if you just focus on what are the things that I can do today and ask yourself some really good questions, like what if this was better in my life or what if I had choices and you can just calm yourself down pretty quickly and renew your mind to what's true. Outstanding. Well, we're almost out of time, so we're going to put your website up so people can get in touch with you. Intentionallyfabulous.com. Why don't you go ahead and look into the camera that's yours right there, that second camera, and just uh, talk about um, what what you want people to, to take away from this. Okay, yeah, I would love for people to go to intentionallyfabulous.com. I do have a free webinar coming up there, and my desire right now, this first uh, semester coming up, is for women, but I will be doing a co-ed program because there's definitely a need for men as well. So I'm excited about that. So it's not too early for anyone to go there and just keep in touch with what's going on. We'll have lots of uh, great announcements every day, Facebook Lives. Outstanding. Kelly Calabrese, thank you so thank much for being on this show. You're Appreciate awesome. It. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time. Thank you. You killed, killed it. Good. You killed it. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was great. Oh, thank All right, you. Let's, let's pivot for a little bit. Okay. You are wonderful. I mean, we covered three books. And this is for and, you. Oh, thank you so much. Fine you copy. So much? I oh, did. you are so sweet. Oh, I love it. Thank you. All right, Kelly, let's visit. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Do you have the buggy? I got time. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just hang out and drink from it. I walk in here and drink from it.